I actually checked in and checked my bags and they told me that my flight to Istanbul from Sofia is cancelled. Hello and welcome to this channel. This is Maxim Azanov and in this channel I'm sharing a lot about spirituality and entrepreneurship. For many people it is difficult to understand how you could be a spiritual person and at the same time be a leader, an entrepreneur, a business person in the world. And in this channel, I am striving, I'm working to give you value that will help you not just to grow in your spirit, but also to grow and develop in every area of your life. And today I have something very special for you because I'm going to share my journey in America. For three weeks, I was speaking in different events, meeting friends and partners in the USA while presenting my newest book, Courage in Crisis, The Ultimate Guide to Success. I'm telling you, it was an amazing journey and I'm very, very inspired and blessed by all the encounters and experiences that I had the privilege to have there. And I'm sharing those with you today and I believe that they will inspire you and bless you as well. So first off, of course, uh, we started this Courage World Tour in America because what a better place to start. Is there a better place to start than uh, the USA? And we did the East Coast, we did the West Coast, we did some large communities where I was invited as a speaker, some Christian and spiritual events, and also some secular events, podcast and media. It was really a blessed journey and I wanna share it with you today. Day one, about to go to the USA, I'm leaving early in the morning from hotel that I stayed here in Sofia. Ready to go to America. America's waiting for us. Let's go. Let's go. So as you can see, the journey begins here in uh, Sofia, where I was um, starting and something very unexpected happened. So as soon as I arrived at the airport, they told me, I actually checked in and checked my bags, and they told me that my flight to Istanbul from Sofia is canceled because of the earthquake and uh, things that are happening in, uh, in Istanbul. And yeah, so that's an interesting experience. Now we're looking to book another flight to be able to get to LA in time for the first event, which is going to be at um, Freedom City Church. I'm excited about it. Things are going to work, I believe that. So, as they say, when life serves you lemon, make lemon cheesecake. So, I'm going back to the hotel for a few minutes, half an hour, to an hour to eat with my children and my wife and then I'm getting on another flight through uh, UK so all is good hey this is so beautiful hey babe sorry say hello this is the blessing so good to spend a few extra moments you know, when things don't work as planned, make them better. Ladies and gentlemen, we have started our preparation for landing. In about 10 minutes, we are going to land at Heathrow Airport in London. And then, uh, while this journey was progressing, I end up meeting a lady uh, who was really kind of, uh, I would say, undercover. Um, and I hope she doesn't get offended by me saying that, but she had the mask on, she had the hoodie on, and this lady, I saw her at uh, uh, Sofia Airport, she was limping, and so I went and asked her if I could help her with her back, because I saw she had the back, she wanted to pick up her back to put it on the um, thing that, you know, checks your luggage, so I asked her to help her, and she allowed me I helped her with her back and then we were going on the same flight. I didn't know that, but we got on the same flight, so I helped her with her uh, luggage, got on the flight, 
And by the time we are landing in Heathrow, we realize we are actually going to LAX. So we had a day uh, together, we became good friends. And I didn't know that at the time when I was helping her, but she's an incredible uh, actress who was shooting a movie here in Bulgaria with Megan Fox. So Madeline, if you're watching this, you know, heads up. It was a great experience. We uh, flying together to, to America and having great conversations about spirituality, about life and about faith and how we can make the world a better place. So I'm here at Heathrow with my new friend, yeah. Madeline. Hello. And our new friends from LA, the doctors, who have been married for 50, almost 50 years. Almost 50 years. It'll be 50 on March the 27th, 2024. Wow. wow. And, and the lady said the secret to a good marriage is... Just ignore half of the time things which you don't like. I love that. And then this is a young lady, beautiful lady. She just finished her movie in Bulgaria. Yes. And she has been acting for the last 35 years. Yes. That's correct. She herself looks like 29. Yes. <laughs> and how about you, I would sir? say 27. And I am blessed to be with these amazing people. So after a long day, uh, finally, I was on the long flight from uh, London Heathrow to LAX and flying to Los Angeles. So as I arrived there, so it's 9.24 and just landed at Los Angeles on the way to the hotel, getting ready for tomorrow. Excited. Welcome to LA. So I just arrived. Obviously, I get greeted by uh, the people who I was speaking for at Freedom, and it was an incredible experience there. But before I went to bed, literally, this is late Saturday night, and I get a call from the Congregation Church asking me if I can cover for Team Story the next morning at their event in California. So. Of course, I couldn't say no. About to hit the stage at Congregation Church. I'm excited. So I went, spoke for them, uh, spoke about courage in crisis and how power um, comes from pressure, how to turn the most difficult times of your life into the most fruitful times of your life. So I spoke there and then in the afternoon I went to Freedom City and it was just out of this world. I mean, people were energetic. Team Story showed up just to hear me speak, which was really such a privilege. And then the very next day, I'm going with Team Story, flying from uh, LA to Las Vegas for Grand Cardone's 10X conference. Going to the man, the myth, the legend, Team Story. And then we're flying to Grand Cardone's 10X in Las Vegas. I'm excited. So maybe some of you know, Team Story has been the speaker for 10X in almost every conference, but two, I think. So Grant called him and said, listen, I have some tickets for you and a friend. So obviously I got the best tickets together with Team and we were at the event of Grant Cardone in Las Vegas, which was an amazing event. So many entrepreneurs, uh, I mean like world-class entrepreneurs, a lot of the Shark Tank people that I love, this show Shark Tank is probably one of my favorite shows. So Robert Herjavich was there, then some big celebrities, Mark Wahlberg, actors, singers, people who are really changing the world were being interviewed and speaking at the 10X conference. And while we were in Las Vegas for the conference, uh, you know, Tim Story is just such a such an interesting person. He always finds uh, something extra. He always finds a way to give extra value and have a better experience. So uh, we're having lunch and he says, hey, how would you like to go and see a show? So I'm like, of course. He says, I think Bruno Mars is performing. So we get tickets and we go to Bruno Mars's show and it was just simply out of this world. So from one to 10, Bruno Mars. 
Bruno Mars was a tan Maxim. And uh, what, what did you say? He was like flawless. He was flawless. Yes. Everything was timed. Yeah. And if that's not enough, as we booked the tickets for Bruno Mars, we also saw that the next night, Katy Perry had a concert, which was sold out. So Tim, in his typical Tim story fashion, he says, don't worry, let me call um, her parents. So he calls Katy Perry's father and says, listen, I'm here with a friend of mine all the way from Bulgaria. We want to see the show. He says, I know it's sold out, but let's find two tickets for us. So we end up also seeing Katy Perry the next day. So it was really cool uh, cultural experience just to, to see and hear uh, both of these world-class artists uh, literally back-to-back -back in Las Vegas. So our time in Las Vegas was so much fun. We had time together. We met a, a lot of friends, business people. Obviously, Tim is very well known within this uh, space, within this circle. So he introduced me to some very interesting entrepreneurs, very interesting leaders. We had a great time. And then from uh, Las Vegas, we flew back for California, where then I was speaking for Victory Outreach. So we are going to church with this wonderful couple here. They've been married for 16 years. They were married only when they were like 12. <laughs> look at how young they look. So one of the takeaways from the time in Vegas was what a blessing really to be around these giants and uh, to get to meet all of these incredible people, but most of all to have uh, great times with Team Story, great conversations, great wisdom, just a world-class human being. And then we fly, actually he flew uh, I think to Nashville to speak at a large event and I flew to uh, California to speak at Victory Outreach and I think they had like over a thousand people there. I presented my book. The place was electric. Um, Victory Outreach is a movement. They have over 300 uh, churches and I was speaking at the main uh, campus. So this was very, very special and um, then, obviously, after this intense uh, week of speaking, all these different people, um, we had a week where we had more time to do some podcasts, to do some media, to do some strategic meetings, and then really spend great time with the man, with Tim Story. So he came back from Nashville, took me around Laguna Beach, went to nice places to eat, talked about life, did a day for podcasts, did a day for strategic partners and meetings. And then um, Coach Bird, who is one of the top business coaches in America, flew in for an event that they were doing together with Tim that was called Speak Like a Master, where they had a group of executives and like high achievers who wanted to become better speakers. So they were being trained by Team Story, Coach Bird, and one of the biggest acting coaches in Hollywood. She's the acting coach of the biggest celebrities in Hollywood. And so I had the privilege to meet with this amazing lady, be at that speaking masterclass, learn, listen, give impact and just really have incredible time with incredible people. So then, uh, as this was coming to an end, we went to another arena in uh, LA. This Where man just spoke at the arena. The arena. For uh, Bill Winston. For Bill Winston. And now we are right there is where the LA Lakers play. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. And we're listening to Stevie Wonder. We have and our outfits ready. Going to the Hollywood Bible study. Team Story Live. Come on. And somebody. Maxim is being interviewed by me. How exciting is that? Where Tim spoke for world famous ministry uh, that is led by a man named Bill Winston. So he spoke at their event where they were hitting 10 big cities and impacting minorities and helping people. And so Tim spoke there uh, in the morning and we were together. Then 
he interviewed myself, Coach Bird, who was also presenting his book, Flip the Switch, and I was presenting my book, Courage in Crisis. And this is Saturday night. So Saturday night, we had a team story, Hollywood Bible study. Tonight, on the panel at Team Stories Hollywood Bible Study, and then I'm flying to speak at one of the greatest churches in Florida. It's going to be amazing. Amazing. An incredible group of people who are into entertainment, media, arts, business people, producers, music producers, movie producers. So we had great time at the Hollywood Bible Study. I signed I don't know how many books. And then at about 12, I flew out of, uh, Las, of Los Angeles to Florida. So it was overnight flight. And when I arrived in Florida in the morning, I rest a little bit during the day. And in the evening, I spoke at one of the most incredible churches. After Jim Story Live, just flew to Florida for Skyline's and I'm speaking today. What a life. Look at that beauty. Thank God for Florida. We're here. The best is yet to come. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. So, when they bring you cake and say you have a birthday, we receive it. We don't have a birthday, but we just receive it. So I spoke for my friends who have an amazing church there from Brazil in Fort Lauderdale. It was one of the most, I would say, powerful, powerful meetings there. And I spoke for them on Sunday. So I flew overnight, Saturday, Sunday. I spoke for them Sunday. Then next morning early, I flew from Fort Lauderdale to Tampa to meet with just an incredible leader, mentor of mine. And then we get on a uh, private jet with him because he had a thing that he had to do in uh, Dallas. See if I can send it to the fastest jet in the world. So we flew from Tampa to Dallas. So within 24 hours, uh, really, I flew from LA to Florida and then within Florida from Fort Lauderdale to Tampa and then from Tampa to Dallas, Texas, and then from Dallas, Texas, back. So Tuesday, obviously I needed a day off. <laughs> and it was an incredible day because some friends took me for a hockey game and I had never been at a hockey game in my life. And that's where trouble began. That's where I started gaining a little bit of weight. There was so much food at this hockey game, I'm telling you. Americans know entertainment. It was entertainment at its highest great time at the hockey game and uh, just a great time meeting people in general then as, as my time in america was coming to an end i just met a few business friends of mine who came over that were living around florida and some strategic partners one of them is um, keith johnson who is um, the president of destiny college destiny college is an incredible um, education uh, program it's a university really online university that is fully accredited they have the best in leadership from around the world people like john maxwell people like team story people like kit himself and then the newest addition to their uh, teaching team is going to be me so i'm so excited about creating a course for destiny college so we had great time he took me for lunch and after that um, I was driven to Miami, where from I flew back to Sofia. So what an incredible journey. What an incredible packed three weeks presenting the book Courage in Crisis. And then I'm so excited now because every month I'm doing a crusade. I'm doing a meeting, an outreach. I'm doing uh, speaking in different countries around the world. So I'm doing Sweden, I'm doing Germany, I'm doing Spain, I'm doing Italy, I'm doing France so many countries on the line, Greece, Cyprus, etc. So um, I'm excited about the Courage Tour and I'm excited that my book is coming out in Bulgarian as well, finally, and it's going to be a big, big thing. So subscribe to this channel, follow for more and listen. Why won't you 
uh, comment in the comment section. Tell me if you like that video. Tell me if it was interesting and tell me what lessons or content or what would you see? What would you want to see more in this channel? You know, this channel is just like a hobby or something that I'm doing on the site just because I want to give value to my friends and followers from around the world and also to inspire you about spirituality and entrepreneurship and help you as you progress in your leadership journey. This is Maximo Senov. Subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video.